Travel Journal. We are a German-Turkish family of five traveling the world for a year to open our minds to new cultures and perspectives. After exploring 17 countries on three continents, we return to the one that made us feel most like home. Okay, so we've been traveling for 10 months, I think now. We started here in ha Hamburg, Germany. Then we flew to Austria, ah, Qatar, all the way to Qatar. From Qatar, we flew to Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania. From Tanzania to Ethiopia, from Ethiopia all the way to Delhi in India. Then we stayed in India for a little bit, went to Sri Lanka. From Sri Lanka to Nepal, and then from Nepal we switched planes in Chengdu, China, and then we came where? South Korea. And um, in Seoul, and then um, Japan, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, then Australia. Uh, here. <laughs> Three for three months and also to Tasmania. Yeah. From Australia, China. Shanghai. 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 Yeah, first we went to Shanghai in China. And now, where are we are now again, Malik? South Korea. Yes, and you're Seon, and welcome to our travel journal in South Korea. The language is very different, and so is the food. But there seem to be quite a few social norms that remind us of Turkish culture and living standards compared to our German home, if not even being more advanced. Anyways, these days we are on a road trip across South Korea to explore more of what this country has to offer. Last week we took you with us visiting Ha Seong Fortress, where we got an introduction to Korean archery and we had a blast at Everland. This week we are delighted to invite you to even more fun, because when we checked into our hotel for the night, we discovered that the Sonopal Uchuan has more to offer than just beds to sleep in. Germany is a football superpower with a strong emphasis on youth development, fan engagement culture and international influence. For a matter of fact, I never played football or soccer, but Alpay did when he was still a student. And Malik, our youngest one, is part of a local team at home. We heard that South Korea has made impressive strides in football in recent decades in international tournaments and player development too. But baseball rivals football in terms of popularity? Well, then let's try that out. As you can see, baseball is hard for us. We never tried it before, but at least I would have loved to keep hitting the ball. But there were even more fun games available, and some could be played together as a family. Have you ever played games this way? Where was that? Let us know in the comments below. Next stop, Taejeon, is one of South Korea's major cities, located in the central part of the country, and shows that there is more than just Seoul and Busan. It's often referred to as the Silicon Valley of Korea, due to its significant role in research, technology and innovation, we read. Numerous research institutes and universities are home here, making it one of South Korea's leading cities in terms of science and technology. 
we had actually planned to visit the National Science Museum, but the kids were too tired after all the gaming in the morning. Also wir sind hier gerade in Südkorea, in Daejeon, glaube ich. Und wir waren vorhin was essen in einer Mall, glaube ich. Dann haben wir eine neue Hose für mich gekauft. Und jetzt sind wir auf dem Weg zurück ins Hotel, wo wir heute angekommen sind. Jetzt gehen wir zu einem 7 Eleven und die Jungs spielen hier irgendwas. Taejeong is known for having a high quality of life with a lower cost of living compared to Seoul. We felt like the city is more laid back, but still offers nice amenities. Here you can have a look into the parking system, not just our hotel offered. Alright, that's our rental car. And we are off to our next destination. For all our Korean viewers, do you recognize the city? This is Cheonju. It's often referred to as the cultural heart of Korea, famous for its well-preserved traditional Korean culture, architecture and cuisine. It's no surprise we encountered so many student groups there, is it? from Jeonju. <laughs> we are in a traditional Hanok village. Um, not in Seoul anymore, but far away, really in the countryside, more countryside actually. Um, they have a village here in this bigger city of Jeonju, which is very touristy of course, but we are tourists as well. And the kids really, really, really wanted to sleep in traditional Korean beds again and wear hanboks again. So if you want to do this and you want to get out of Seoul, I guess from what, what we've seen so far, this is the right place. <laughs>
Last year, in October, we wore traditional Korean clothes for the first time. And even though I had to talk the boys into it because they originally felt uncomfortable wearing costumes in the street, they then loved wearing their hanboks while walking through one of the big palaces in Seoul. Here, in Cheonju, we see many people wearing them. So now the boys can't stop talking about repeating that adventure. And then we had a thought. Wouldn't it be a nice souvenir if we not just rented handbags for the boys, but bought them? They loved the idea and quickly had their own style in mind. Work out the bike. <laughs> you seid happy. You can see jetzt heute so lange tragen hier, weil ihr könnt sie morgen tragen. Wir können sie jetzt ab jetzt, wir müssen jetzt zurückfahren eigentlich, also auch da noch tragen. Wir müssen jetzt eigentlich mal einchecken, weil wir haben gesagt, dass wir um 15 Uhr dann da sind. Nein, lass uns da hin erstmal. Ich jetzt gleich 16 Uhr. Ich trage den auch zu Hause. Okay. Yoga class. If you want to do yoga, you can do hot bullet yoga class. We enjoyed our time in Cheonju Hanok village. There are so many cute places for photo opportunities. It's practically a must-see for every fan of historical K-dramas. Did you know that Jeonju is widely regarded as the culinary capital of Korea? Supposedly, it's most famous for being the birthplace of bibimbap, one of Korea's most iconic dishes. Have you tried the one with fresh local ingredients such as raw beef, various vegetables, rice and spicy red pepper paste? To be honest, when we visited we weren't even aware of the fact, but we did try different street food. But then also ended up with a brand that we came to know in Seoul. Long creamy cheese thing. After filling up on some snacks, we took the kids back to our house for the night. They still had a little bit of schoolwork to do and then were eager to relax and watch something on their iPads. Meanwhile, Alpai and I enjoyed another stroll through the town, which was beautifully lit up in a romantic glow. Get some dessert. 
<laughs> the kids don't know anything. They are in the hotel doing some homework. And we wanted to take a walk because after dinner we were quite stuffed. And yeah, now we go back and bring the kids some dessert. <laughs> Next morning, the boys wore their hanboks again. And after breakfast with sesame porridge or something like that, toast and apple, we explored Chonju one more time. Did you enjoy our family travel vlog? Then let us know in the comments what you like best. Share the video with whoever you think this might be interesting or entertaining for. Could we inspire you to explore more of what Korea has to offer? Then leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our travel journal.